Imagine what you would say if somebody were to tell you in, in the 1980s that your computer can talk to another computer over a wire. Most people wouldn't really understand what that means. They wouldn't imagine uh, grandma talking to her granddaughter on the other side of the planet through a video phone. So today, when I say that blockchain technology will change the transactional nature between all humans on planet Earth, it's difficult to fathom exactly what changes that will bring. But I do know one thing, that the future will be tokenized, and I can't wait for it. Blockchain technology is a new type of database that records all changes to every record in a very transparent way. You can think of the blockchain as a list of a bunch of transparent safe deposit boxes. Everyone can see inside every single safe deposit box and how much money is in every single one. However, only the person who has the key to a particular safe deposit box is able to unlock it and move the funds into another safe deposit box. Uh, with traditional databases, any record can be updated and overwritten with new information, losing what used to be stored there. But with blockchain technology, all of these individual updates are processed as separate transactions. And when taking a look at an aggregate, you can see the entire history of that account or the entire history of that line uh, in, in the database. With traditional transactions, there's always an intermediary between the sender and recipient. By executing the same transaction on a, on a blockchain instead of directly with parties, we no longer need to trust an intermediary. Um, I don't need to trust PayPal to forward the money to you after they take their fee. But with blockchain transactions, the money is sent directly from sender to recipient without a middleman. Um, now there is still trust involved. You're trusting that the blockchain will affect the transaction for you. But trusting the blockchain is a lot more like trusting the laws of mathematics. 1 plus 1 will always equal 2, no matter which computer calculates it. One of the big differences between blockchain payments and traditional payments is the pull versus push model. Today, when we use credit cards, we give that credit card number to every waiter and every st store merchant uh, to process a payment. That store then runs that number through their machine and pulls information from our accounts. Nothing stops them from pulling a second time or a third time later on in the day or, or next week. Whereas with Bitcoin payments, because it's based on a push model, I choose which merchant receives my funds and I push it to them directly. This push versus pull model makes transactions far safer for the average person. As blockchains become more ubiquitous in our everyday life, more and more of our everyday uh, things will be placed as tokens on a blockchain. Already we have Bitcoins that exist on the Bitcoin blockchain, Ether is on the Ethereum blockchain. Collectively, all of these blockchain tokens are known as cryptocurrencies. These tokens allow people to transfer money between each other. But in the near future, property like uh, your, your land titles and, uh, and, and your deeds will be tokenized as well, so that with a simple blockchain transaction, we can now uh, reassign ownership of my condominium building uh, from one person to another. Uh, passports will be issued as tokens on blockchains. Uh, s s units of stock uh, will be issued as tokens. Once everything is tokenized, a simple transaction can swap one type of token for another type of token as part of a transaction. This dramatically changes the transactional nature of pretty much every interaction that humans will have with each other in the near future.